For more than 30 years, Umeå has strived for a city that creates conditions for women and men to have equal power to shape society as well as their own lives. The gendered landscape is a way to remind us of what we have achieved, but equally important, the journey we have left. It's a method that we use when we think, plan and build our city, from the political level to the everyday work of the public services. It's about integrating an understanding of gendered power structures and the life conditions of women and men in all the work that the municipality does. Here, for instance, this used to be a dark and gloomy tunnel, unsafe in many ways, especially for women. The new passage, it's broader, it's lighter, you can see from one side to the other, all the corners are rounded, there's no space to hide behind, and if you feel unsafe, there's an exit in the middle. But most important, the tunnel is covered in the artwork Live and the constant company of author Sara Liedman and her words. We are social beings, and especially for women, the company of another woman makes us feel safe, even though it's not an actual physical woman. In the process, we also worked with raising awareness and knowledge on men's violence to women in public space and what that does to us. Women are not afraid of places, they're mainly afraid of men. And highlighting that and combating that is a work that can never stop. The design of this bus stop has been from a sustainability and a gender equality perspective. This is an area where a lot of women and men work and we wanted to change the perspectives on mobility by making it innovative, attractive and safe for both women and men. The first idea was to build a box where heating would be available in the winter time, but we didn't go with that idea because we thought it might make women feel unsafe and trapped. So instead it became this design, which gives you personal space and shelters you from wind without the sense of being cornered. Behind us, we see the first preschool in Umeå with a focus on gender equality. A growing number of preschools in Umeå are working with gender equality and challenging norms as part of their everyday work. At young ages we form our opinions on what women and men can or can't, should or shouldn't be, and an active work in preschools with combating those stereotypes and challenging traditional gender norms is really, really important. Gender landscapes is a, is a method that helps to illustrate when policies are put into practice. It shows the examples of what has been done with the successful projects and landmarks, but it also raises questions about the work that needs to be done. With a non-critical perspective, it helps us to ask questions of who we are planning the city for. It's a method that erases awareness and can help us to ask questions that can be both provocative and stimulating. In Ume, we are lucky to have politicians that have the gender on, on the agenda. If we, if we manage the gender question well, the, the city will be more attractive for companies and for people to, to move here. But it's also important for the people that already live here because a, a good uh, policy about gender will make the people more happy. And that's our goal. With Free Zone, we challenged our methods for citizen dialogue. We worked with inclusion through exclusion, choosing to only have dialogue with young women. We had creative workshops that ended up in an art exhibition on the dual expectations that young women feel in their life. It also ended up being a new space. But we can't create a place that's free from expectations. But we can create a space where young women feel like they have the right to be where they can hang out alone or with friends, in swings designed for someone who's 160 centimeters long, listen to music through the speakers in the roof and hopefully feel like the city belongs to them. 
There are many places and stories in the gendered landscape that inspires us to move forward. These were just a few. It's not that we are there yet, but UMI has taken really important steps to make equality a reality for all.